Magic Standard Event. Friday Night Magic here at Little Legion Games and Comics in South Charleston, West Virginia. Already into round one. My name, as always, is Zachary Evans. I'm joined by Barrett Meadows and Jonathan Wright. As we see on the left, Tony Stewart playing black, white, mid range. It looks, yes, he's uh, fresh off his. Uh, I don't know. He's got he's got to finish up here so he can make it to Homestead. That's the only one at Darlington. That's all I could think of at the time. Playing black, white, mid range, which looks like a mono black deck with Elspeth in it. That's literally what it looked like to me. And then um, Jordan is playing a very interesting Rakdos aggro deck, which is basically just uh, a lot of aggressive uh, black creatures, Mogus Marauder, and then Burn. Uh, playing a singleton copy of Blood Scrivener, which is cool. And then this guy, Spike Jester, which I think is really cool. Like, uh, the 3 1 case? Yeah, th it's, a, it's a very reasonable card. Um, it wasn't reasonable when their tactics slip was around, but now that all the yeah. little spells cost two well, like, I, mana, it's I, perfect. Yeah, I know it's very difficult. It's like it's it's the kind of card that in, in a different metagame would be much better than it is now. But um, you remember like uh, Luis Navas won the Grand Prix Santiago with this exact kind of deck, um, and then that kind of came out of nowhere. And like they, because the problem is, is like against the mono blue deck, like they load the board, or even the mono black deck, they load the board, and then you just fanatic. Or Mogus Marauder, Gary Thing, Intimidate, and just swing through. Yep. So Tony runs out a turn three pack rat, which is probably going to get met with a lightning strike. Looks like Jordan has two of those in his hand. Well, he thought she was one away. <clears throat> so. I mean, Jordan's Jordan's deck has got to be just chock full of. The pay for Jordan right now is to either remove the pack rat with a spell, or just see if Tony wants to trade. I don't know which one better for. <coughs> I wouldn't give him the option. I don't think Tony's ever blocking. Now I'd definitely kill him. That's removal spell. Like, if his plan is to just go along with his pack rat. Yep. Oh. There's the old Warhouse Shamewalker. Two mana, three power creatures. But if, if Tony has another land, he can activate and then make a mutable. Uh, he actually can evolve like another pack rat right, and just trade with his team. He loses both his cards there, but I think I like just burning something. But unless you have Fnatic here, but the Fnatic won't make them get. Gives them awesome. it, it'll get the. Um, it will get past the mutable. The Madcap skill is pretty it'll good. It'll get past the mutable, but the uh, Spike Jester won't get past the backgrounds. Right. Jordan got some nice lands. Joao in the chat was saying he spoke to Ruben on Facebook, but he can't say anything because there's a legal issue. There might be like a non-compete or something, I don't know. There's a lot of turnover at Star City. Mm -hmm. It's not the kind of place you work for a career. No. Is that a good play? Do you pitch um, a Desecration Demon to Pack Rat? It's an aggro deck. Might be able to see it. Like, if you're this behind on board already. Mm -hmm. Like, if Jordan has a removal spell here, it's a pretty, pretty big blowout, isn't it? Okay, so take three from the unblocked Jester. I think I, I, so Jordan does have a lightning strike, right? Or are we just... I, I thought he did. I don't remember his hand from the thought seize, but if he does, then I really like getting him this slow and just killing him. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. Not wasting long time. Yep, yeah, you're exactly right. I, I may have misread his hand. I didn't see his thought sees either. He has madcap skills in his hand. I know that. A doom blade. Doom blade, which will come right out. <laughs> doom blade will at least kill uh, mutable. Right? The awkward post combat madcap skills. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Tormented here is one of those cards that, like, when it was spoiled, you expected it to make an impact because it's a 2 1 for 1, like a Grave Crawler. But then, then aggro turned out to not be playable in this format, other than the uh, Burning Tree Emissary version. Yeah. So. Turned out whenever you can drop, and grow your 2 drop into 5 fives. Mm -hmm. Invalidates all the other ones in 2 drops. If you want on top of this card? I think he moved. I think he shipped it. So with uh, with without an untapped fifth land, Tony doesn't have the option here of making a token and blocking with his mutable. So he's going to have to choose one or the other. So 
None, none of this is looking very good because it, even if even if Tony can survive, like he's he's going to be left with nothing on board at like at four life. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> One of the scariest positions to be in mm -hmm. in standard is to have to face down a madcap skills um, creature with your opponent also having open mana up. Because if you're going to double block it, you know, blown out. Yeah, it just invites the blowout. Yes. Yeah. So he's, at best case scenario, he's going to save himself six life here, but may probably just lose his whole team. <laughs> Oh god! Before so you can't even block. Oh. <laughs> that was so well, brutal. He knew that he had to do black too. So it was, was it just, from the thought yeah. Those are order of and that's the, trying to get the order of operation and that's, out of the door. And that's the only thing in his deck that he can doom blade except for Elspeth Soldier tokens, yes. which is a very much a losing battle. <laughs> so Mike those are seems really good against Tony because he only has one spell that can kill us. Uh, Hero's Downfall. It dodges the last breath and ultimate. This is the point of the game where we see if Tony's sideboard includes Shrivel. Yes. <laughs> Shrivel. <laughs> so, so, round two starting off here. Tony down a game, leaving one on top with the Temple of Silence. And the, uh, I don't, I don't know if innovative is the right word, but uh, this is a Rakdos Aggro deck from Jordan. Playing a lot of oft underseen cards, but all of them very, uh, very solid and difficult to deal with. I see more of this dog that coming up with the uh, the Minotaur travel. That'd be a very uh, so last breath here. F and M style deck. Yeah, it's actually very interesting. Well, it's not interesting probably to anyone except me. But um, it hey, uh, looks like Jordan's on a one lander here, but uh, should have. Oh, no, he's got plenty of lands. Um, Minotaurs traditionally were red, white, and blue. If you go back and look at all the Minotaurs prior to this, actually in Homelands, which is an awful set, there was a lot of Minotaurs. They're all red, white, and blue. And then they've they've wholesale switched them to red and black, which is very annoying because they're, you can't really build a good Minotaur tribal. Like There's finally enough Minotaurs now that you can build a solid EDH, but they've changed the colors so that you can't. Right. Did the <laughs> queen as your four color <laughs> Minotaurs. <laughs> So there's a thought seize on uh, turn three from Jordan here, um, revealing last breath, blood baron, two swamps, and desecration demon. So you take the blood baron. Yeah, you take the blood baron for sure here. And honestly, against Tony, uh, I think I think um, I don't know if he just drew that or not, but um, that's definitely the. If I'm Jordan, I'm, I'm only ever casting a thought seize before my opponent completes his fourth land because you want to hit demon and you want to hit blood baron on turn one you want to be uh... mm -hmm. more importantly tony's been able to stabilize at a very high life total here so not in danger like last game of uh... dread boar <laughs> That's pretty good. I, I keep forgetting that, like, in these colors, Jordan has access to all the premier removal spells in the yes. format. <laughs> that part literally the best removal spell in the format. Yes. You just, uh, that's the third land to play a, uh, third mana up for another Cackler. Yeah, how good Dark Ritual be in this deck? <laughs> Not that good, I don't think. <laughs> Turn one triple Cackler? Oh, that would be good. So a fifth land from Tommy uh, and a Blood Baron off the top. So he play Mizzy and Mortars? Uh, I can't imagine he does. I mean, you could potentially, um, you could potentially race it with, like, uh, Fnatic and whatnot, but it's going to be very difficult for Jordan to overcome a second. Oh, Necromancer is, uh, kind of weird at this spot, because you have two non-humans on board. Yeah, you have two devils. Mm-hmm. I mean, shouldn't, to shouldn't Tony be attacking here? Well, this was a very hard deck to play against. Um, the Rock Dead deck is very hard deck to play against. Because you don't really understand how much damage you have in the turn. It's like a Fnatic. Well, either Fnatic's. Fnatic of Mogus or. Uh, yeah, it's a Pack Rat. Tony is deciding to attack in with the Blood Baron, so Jordan drops down to 18, more importantly, uh... You're have two, three, three blockers next turn, too. He's going to play shot himself. Yeah. Well, 
this way, yeah. Why are we tapping the mute ball? Isn't the plan here to... Oh, yeah, I guess that's fine. I mean, I'm, he's not blocking with it. Yeah, yeah. No, I just forgot what Gary yeah, said. The, 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 the basic mechanics yeah, yeah. of using any mana, not just the mana it creates. <laughs> This is one of those games where I always say that uh, Tony is wasting all of his good luck on game two because Jordan has drawn five lands and Tony top back to Blood Baron. <laughs> you, know? you want your you want to uh, balance out your opponent's mana flood with your own good fortune, but uh, I'm trying to think: is there a sequence of draws in which Jordan could get there? Because Intimidate's not that good against uh, Packrat. And Jordan uh, indicates that he doesn't care for this game anymore. Maybe, uh, this entire time I stand with him. Uh, Maybe you gotta, gotta maximize your resources. His first deck that he proxied up was um, the Junk Aggro deck. Uh, Tormented Hero. Uh, yeah, they like it. A bunch of humans and like the, uh, the Pegasus that makes humans fly. Then quickly realize that this red green deck's pretty good. <laughs> so both players on the mold of six here. Jordan leads off with a turn one tormented hero, which goes uh, un uncontested. And follows it up with a second copy. There's a shock. So Tony doesn't have any business here. No last breath. No. Ultimate prize if he's playing that. Oh, Rakto Shred. <laughs> it's a human <laughs> <laughs> Dark Betrayal something? No, Dark Betrayal, yeah, yeah, so. I mean, that's fine, but, uh, like, you're still, like, you're still at 14. Your opponent has. Yeah, he doesn't like, have Nightmare Spectre, which would be tough. I've tried to. At this point, a 2 3 blocker against all these, uh. Yeah. Two power creatures. I forgot about Dark Betrayal, which is mostly there for the mono black matchup, but. This thing's close enough. What I forgot about Shredfork. Like so. No removal. I guess the question is are we going to see a turn. There's another Tormented hero. Are we going to see a turn four demon here? I don't even think that's that bad for Jordan, honestly. Uh, especially if he's sandbagging he... a. Well, not sandbagging, but holding on to a uh, Necromancer. He just needs to draw the land. So here's it could be Hero's downfall because he played the temple last turn. Necromancer here is brutal. And you'd play that pre-combat. Like you see in hero bugs. In whose hand? In Jordan. I don't think it is. What? I thought I saw an hero bugs. So there's downfall in the tormented hero. Still take four. Put you to six. It's probably been shock himself last turn in case Jordan. But Why like, would you not play that pre combat? Doesn't matter, he just responds. Yeah, but you at least been given the opportunity to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm surprised oh. at what, uh, what the mistake was. Oh, I'm still not... had all these. Were there blue cards in Johnny's deck? Who? There's a Hallow Fountain there. Was there a blue card in his deck? You might have Nightbells back there. Yeah, some of them actually cut. Oh, is it a planes that cut? It's a planes that cast Nightmill Spectre, the same way like the old Boris Agar decks would play a uh, Temple Garden. Yeah, so it would ca a green a force that would cast a Boris Reckoner. Well, very interesting uh, archetype from Jordan there. So we'll see how that goes on throughout the night. There's going to be a lot of decks that are going to have a difficult matchup with that deck. I'll tell you that for sure. Yeah, including the guy behind us, and <laughs> both of you, both of you. Nope. Huh? I was just I was just sitting here thinking like four cards match up very well against that deck. Yeah. That better than the burn deck. Right. If you play Vince tonight, you're just fudged. Because <laughs> he has, like, no creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. 